What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in light of the recent HomePod leak with the iPhone 8, I thought I'd take a minute to explore iOS 11 and what it could possibly mean for the iPhone 8. And yes, put on your tinfoil hats for this because there's a lot of speculation here, but it's hard to deny that there are a lot of hints and coincidences that line up perfectly with a lot of features we've heard about the iPhone 8. So here are 15 plus things iOS 11 may hint at with the iPhone 8. So starting with the lock screen, Apple combined the notification page with the lock screen, saving you one swipe down from the top. On the iPhone 8, it's going to be a little difficult because it is a longer display in general, so they're saving you the finger cramps from having to slide up from the very top. Now, you can actually get the lock screen to glitch into a landscape orientation, and it's not any glitch. It actually works quite well. It's like it was meant to be. In my personal opinion, I think the iPhone 8 will get a dock mode very similar to the Apple Watch, and with an organic LED display, it'll be very useful. You set it on your nightstand and you get the current time, some notifications as well. In iOS 11 Beta 4, there is a new splash screen for Touch ID when opening up a notification from the lock screen. This could signify that Apple will embed it into the display, making it easier for iPhone 8 users and removing the need for a home button. The reason Apple brought back the bars for the signal meter in iOS 11 instead of the dock is just because it's more compact. The iPhone 8 can fit in more information in the status bar while having that sensor bar obstruct the middle of the status area. And the hidden charge sounds found in iOS 11 beta could signify wireless charging. <laughs> The removal of the side 3D touch gesture to open up the app switcher was confirmed to be a deliberate move on Apple's part, and this could be because the iPhone 8 is using a new screen technology, making this impossible because of the embedded fingerprint sensor. And uh, of course, Apple would want to keep all of the features uniform across all devices, so they remove it for everybody. Funny thing about Apple removing the dock labels in iOS 11, there was a glitch to make that happen earlier, and Apple quickly patched it. But when it suits their needs for the iPhone 8, they do remove it. This could actually mean that the dock blends better with the function area on the iPhone 8. All throughout iOS 11, you'll notice that the titles are bolder, they're more striking, more visible. This could be because the iPhone 8 is getting a larger display, the simplest answer I can think of, or could be just a coincidence. And if you look closer at those stock apps, you'll notice that the interface in general has shifted down by a certain amount. Now, why could this be? Because of the sensor bar. There is a perfect cutout in most areas where that sensor bar can be perfectly implemented in iOS 11. There's usually a little clear space there to make room for that. Even the stock video player accommodates for that sensor bar as the stock controls are rounded and shifted to the edges, so that fits the sensor bar perfectly. Now, why is iOS 11 in general much more rounded than iOS 10, which was very blocky and flat? And that could be because of the display of the iPhone 8. The rounded corners of all of the UI elements will flow perfectly with the rounded display on the iPhone 8. I think it'll be a very nice look look and it's reflected almost everywhere in iOS 11. Even the calculator is much more rounded. And while on the topic of the calculator, it now has a dark interface, Apple has been putting in more effort in a dark interface in iOS 11 in general. The smart invert actually filters out certain type of content while allowing you to display an overall dark theme for iOS 11. This could pave the way for the organic LED display and the true night mode for the iPhone 8. Now because of the function area and status bar taking up more room from the display of the iPhone Apple went out and made interactive headers in most of their stock applications. They hide as soon as you scroll up, giving you much more room to interact with your content. The iPhone 8 will benefit the most from this, I think. And iMessage could possibly be a hint at what's to come for the function area of the iPhone 8, an interactive bottom row that could change and shift with whichever application you're using, and the app drawer over here for the iMessage section perfectly reflects that. The new scrolling behavior in iOS 11 is fantastic. It's even throughout the system, but I personally think that the iPhone 8 stands to benefit the most from this. As Bloomberg has reported, it will be getting the ProMotion display 120Hz from the iPad. Just imagine how smooth and awesome it'll be on the iPhone 8. And a very small detail I caught in iOS 11 Beta 4, in most areas where you can scroll in iOS 11, there is an extended gap on the bottom portion of the display. Easy explanation is that it will accommodate the function area, giving you more room for your content. Even the splash screen when 
and getting a new application you haven't before accommodates that Touch ID logo, making it easier than ever to buy something without removing your finger from the display. The new one-handed keyboard could be because the display on the iPhone 8 is going to be larger, so they'll want it to be as comfortable as possible, of course, but this, of course, is useful for everybody. Not much of a hint, but the AR focus in iOS 11 with the new AR kit is going to be benefited most by the iPhone 8 because it'll have all of the sensors, the cameras, everything making it a much more capable AR machine. And lastly, a very simple one, when you're using Siri and she is in the dormant state, the new icon is a perfect circle. I personally think the virtual home button on the iPhone 8 will be replaced by this icon when Siri is activated. I take this one with a grain of salt, but a Reddit user has posted what appears to be a glitched state in iOS 11 where the virtual home button or virtual function area showed up on their non-iPhone 8 device. Could be fake, could be real, but in any case, it gives us a good idea of what that could look like. So there it is, guys, my take on iOS 11 and what it may predict about the iPhone 8. Of course, a lot of speculation here, but in any case, fun to go ahead and guess some of these features. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.